Okay, I'd like to show today a technique on how to add color to a box. Basically, it's really simple. You have to have a laser jet printer. An uh, inkjet printer won't work, so anything that uses a fuser, so a, a copy machine, would work as well. It's a great way to add color to a project. Um, this one, we put it everywhere, so um, I'm going to show you how to do this technique and it'll be a pretty short video. Okay, this is the picture I'm going to use. It's the same that was on that box that I showed. This is just an extra one we printed out. Um, again, remember you got to use a printer that's a, a laser jet, not an ink jet. Um, or you can, if it's something off of a copy machine that uses a, a fuser to a, you know, make the ink stick to the page. Because it uses heat to, sti to activate the ink and stick it on here, we can use heat to take it back off the paper and put it onto the wood. Now remember, when you do that, it reverses the image, so if you have any text, then you need to print it in uh, iron transfer form, so it mirror images everything, so that when you put it on, that the text turns out being right. A picture like this doesn't matter because there's no text, uh, but if you want to keep it the same as the original, just print it off backwards. All right, so I'm gonna put that on the wood. I'm gonna line it up, and then to make sure that everything stays put, I'm just gonna use a piece of tape going across. That's going to act as a hinge for this. I have it in a clamp so it's not going to move around on me. All, right, all we have to do is just take a regular old iron and use this. Now technique is very important. Um, first thing you want to do is just get everything hot. So, and I make sure I'm getting any folds out of the paper, make sure everything's nice and flat. And I'm going to go across the whole thing and just get everything hot. The first time I tried this, the paper got stuck to the wood. That's because I let it cool down and then tried to take it off. The important thing about doing this is as you peel off the paper, it has to be hot. If you let it cool down, it'll just fuse the paper to the wood as well. Also, you got to have the wood needs to be really flat, make sure you've sanded it really well, so on and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to make sure it's hot as I'm peeling it off. And you can see it didn't do everything perfectly. So I'm going to bring it off there. But it did do quite a bit. Now see how I'm keeping it hot as I'm peeling it up. There, so I've got most of this area. There must be a little dip in the wood right here. So it's not very, nothing there. So I'll just try again. And I'll focus on the areas. More with the tip of the iron, just kind of do some circles there. Just make sure I get pressure on there. And heat. So, Sometimes it's good to just start on one corner and uh, if you see something that needs more just work on it some more and slowly peel back everything until it looks good. So there's still a little bit more right there in that corner so I'll just keep pushing it down, moving it back and forth, a lot of pressure and just slowly, there it is. A lot better. Maybe I can zoom in on that for you. Yeah, so that's looking good. It's still got a little bit there. Now this isn't going to be a perfect transfer. Uh, sometimes they look kind of faded, which kind of adds to the character of whatever you're doing. Um, kind of makes it kind of a faded look to it. But you can get a fairly good transfer going. Keep in mind, anything that's white on your picture is just going to be the color of the wood. So this only works good on uh, light colored woods. Okay, so I'm going to focus right there. Everything that's white is going to be the color that the wood is. I wouldn't stain it either. This is going to be your decoration.
that's white anyway, so that's not going to transfer. A little bit more on that flower. So as you can see, it takes a little bit of time, but uh, it's worth it when you're done. You can even use kind of the, the side of the iron instead of just the tip and rolling it on its side like this and coming across and scraping it. Just kind of rubbing it on there. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. So I'm going to focus over here. Other things that I do for decoration, um, you could do wood burning, you could and carve something into the box or whatever you're making. Um, I have a laser engraver. You can just paint it, stain it, keep it plain. There's lots of different ways to enhance the beauty of things. All right, here's my finished product. As you can see, here's the original. Still most of the color is there, but a lot of it is transferred to the wood. Um, there's still some faded spots, but uh, kind of gives it an old look to it, kind of faded, and I actually kind of like that. So um, if you worked a little bit longer on it, you might be able to get a little bit more transfer, but I think this is good enough for what we're doing, and uh, you can do some really cool effects. Make sure you use you know, nice dark colors. A lot of the yellows, light yellows, light purples, didn't really transfer that well. I'll have a, uh, another video on how to make the box that you saw at the beginning. But this, this video is just dedicated for the iron transfer process. Here's an example of a picture that's been done with the clear coat. So you can do a family photo or whatever you want on on wood.